The man accused of stabbing a local student on board a metro train appeared in court for the very first time today. Jasper Spires is accused of killing Kevin Sutherland. Our Brianne Carter was in that courtroom today and joins us right now with the new developments. Brianne? Jasper Spires will be held without bond. The decision made by the judge after finding probable cause in this case this afternoon. And this comes as earlier today we began to learn more details of exactly what happened on board that metro train on July 4th. 24-year-old Kevin Sutherland was stabbed or cut nearly 30 or 40 times as he rode the metro train last Saturday. That's according to court documents released today, documents that also say Sutherland was punched until he fell to the ground. The friends of, of Kevin Sutherland uh, are all together right now remembering him in a positive, uh, positive way and uh, remembering the life that he lived and we want to focus on the positive with Kevin as, uh, as we let the, the justice process play out. Jasper Spires, the man accused of fatally stabbing Sutherland, was ordered held without bond in court today after being arrested Monday morning. According to court documents, witnesses on that metro train saw Spires reach for something in Sutherland's waist area. That something is believed to be a cell phone. The two began to struggle, then Spires allegedly started punching Sutherland until he fell to the ground. Sutherland was then stabbed repeatedly. Court records show Spires then got off the train at Noma Gallaudet Station. The affidavit claims he was leaving the station when witnesses saw him drop a black backpack. Detectives found a backpack near the turnstiles, according to the court records, at the Noma Gallaudet Station, with an ID card inside the bag with the name Jasper Spires on it. Spires' family friend, who says he just spoke to Spires a month ago, had this to say after court. I don't think so. I mean, you know, I don't think that he had done it, but, you know, we'll wait until later on and see what comes up. Now, we poured through those court documents throughout the day. They also allege that after that fatal stabbing, that Spires allegedly was involved in another robbery with a man and his daughter. Now, he is expected to be back here in court on this charge from today, July 17th. Reporting live, Brianne Carter, ABC 7 News.